WSBW Weather with Jim Vanderswan. Oftentimes, August is the quietest month of the year, but around here it's been pretty active lately. As you just saw, a lot of weather in Southern California. All of that has moved to the north. It's up over the high Sierra, but bringing a lot more moisture down to the lower levels. So we are getting some rain up there along with the lightning bolts. This, of course, the low clouds. That is typical for August. And that accounts for a little bit of a cool down, the combination of all those things. 70s and an 80 in Boulder Creek in the Santa Cruz Mountains, 74 in Santa Cruz, a couple of degrees cooler. In Watsonville, overnight lows nice and mild. Got 70 out of Pacific Grove at Seaside, 68 in Monterey, 69 Marina in Carmel, 77 in Carmel Valley, a little bit cooler in Salinas, and then only 80 degrees in King City. A couple days ago, we were getting close to the big old uh, triple digit and did make that in a few spots, but definitely a little more comfortable to get the week started with all 70s in the Santa Clara Valley. Even the Central Valley is only 80s, 99 in Bakersfield, warmer down there, 90 in Van Nuys, only 99 in uh, Palms or Los yeah, uh, Palm Springs, Las Vegas, 84 because of all that moisture and cloud cover. To the north, it's still pretty warm. Even Seattle at 91, 74 Bismarck, 84 New York, 90s starting to pop up again in around parts of the central U.S. down into the southwest, but that's still cooler than it could be. Counterclockwise rotation, all this is a low pressure system. The heavier rain pulled up to the north. Some of it will swing around and may get up into the North Bay counties later on tonight with a few sprinkles, but the low itself is also going to move inland a little bit. So I don't think we're going to see much out of it. Middle of the map, relatively quiet. A few storms are making it over the top. The rest is all that monsoon moisture in the southwest. Along the east coast, heavy rain down around South Florida. That is Hurricane Bertha, now a tropical storm, but it is expected to track well out to sea. So they get lucky this time around. Won't see much action from that. Futurecast says, yep, still some heavy thunderstorms along the east coast, but the storm itself is going to move way away from them. Scattered storms over the Great Lakes. Most of the rest is contrast. Uh, you know, it's going to come, kind of condense over well, parts of the northern Rockies. Meanwhile, we've got some tropical weather in the Pacific. That is Tropical Storm Julio. That'll probably just drift around. But this is Hurricane Izel. It was a tropical storm last week. It's a Category 4 storm. Winds over 140 miles an hour. Very significant eye. And over here are the Hawaiian Islands. This thing is moving westward and likely will cross over the islands late in the week into the weekend, but probably as a tropical storm. Maybe still a Category 1 hurricane, but nonetheless, they're going to get a little bit of rain. In fact, a lot of rain and a bunch of little bit of wind, so we'll see how that goes. Here's a look at it on the, on the uh, water vapor satellite. You see the eyes, about 25 miles across. Very significant storm, but it's going to be moving into cooler water. Uh, the other Gulf of Alaska storm, no threat. The rest of the moisture is north and east of us, and we, well, we're back down to the usual stratus. Futurecast says, yep, still could get some showers in the northern third of the state. We might see some high clouds go by, but probably not enough mechanics to make anything wet. A few thunderstorms also a little bit later in the week, again, when things start warming up. But for now, we'll just have to settle that marine layer. It's up around 2,000 feet. It could mix out a few places, though, with this low spinning around, but it'll likely reform. And we're back to basics. We'll keep some of it around the peninsula, so it'll start to look more like August. Temperatures will warm up in the valleys a little bit, but nothing super hot just yet. So we'll figure on 80s to do the trick for your tomorrow with a few 70s in the Santa Clara Valley. Salinas Valley also running from the 70s to about 85. Whoops, that's not 787 degrees. Figure Whoa, 70. It's a yeah, it's going to be a rough one there, but uh, <laughs> all happy Monday fingers again. 60s, we'll do it around the peninsula with 50s overnight. Cross end, uh, the north end of the bay there, we'll figure low to mid 70s and a little bit warmer by a few degrees up in the mountains. So you've got a pretty nice start here. Coastal stratus moving inland during the night with variable winds. And we'll figure on just a little breeze in the afternoon for the mountains and the valleys with highs 70s and 80s, mostly sunny after the morning clouds. Partial clearing along the coast. Uh, the peninsula may keep some of that there and we'll go with the 60s and 70s. So next seven days, we'll hang on to these temperatures, bump it up a little bit as we get toward the end of the week. I might go a little bit more later. We'll see how that ridge builds in, but the coast won't change all that much. 60s and 70s is a good place to park, and a lot of people like it that way. That's why the real estate is so expensive yeah. near the beach. There you go. We'll all take right. it. Time for